So at this point, I have created test data and I have entered into the reports tab in Qualtrics and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start visualizing um, some of my results and try to dig into my data and see what's going on. So the first question I have here is a browser meta info question and I doubt anybody's going to have that in this class and it's not useful. Um, generally to share this with anyone. It's just kind of something that I like to grab. So I left this in here just to show you that you can actually hide anything. So this has several parts of it. And so if, if I go over here on the left hand side of the screen, I have all these questions and I'm actually just going to click this checkbox to uncheck it. And now it's hidden. You can also drag um, and drop and you can move this to wherever you'd like. Um, but you'll see at the top of the screen, it's not going to appear in any reports. So this is good. We don't want it to appear. Uh, this is for our information only. So moving on to a real question. One of the first things to note is that you can change whatever title you have here. So this is Q9, which is the following best describes, blah, blah, blah. And so if I click on that, I can change whatever I would like about this, completely reword this, take out the question number, read renumber it, do whatever I need to do. Second thing that is worth noting is that you need to be very intentional when you select um, which of these data visual visualizations to try to edit. Because it's not always, it, Qualtrics doesn't always accept whatever you click on. So for example, I'm in this box right here. Um, I can tell because uh, there's a little box that'll pop up. If I click there, sometimes it doesn't actually work. Um, so you just want to make sure, make sure that you click until you essentially get whatever vi visualization you're using or want to edit highlighted. And so you see this box around this visualization that's now highlighted and extends over into the right hand side. If I click on the image below, then you see that it now does that again for that visualization. I'm going to click back on the top one. So some features that I want to point out that you can play around with is uh, you can add a title, uh, you can turn that on, you can add a title, and by default it's not on there. You can change the actual visualization so it by default it spat out a bar chart and so just to emphasize that I have not done anything with any of the visuals in this report at this at this time. This is just all by default that Qualtrics has spit out for me. So there's a bar chart. I could change over to a simple table, which is just going to give me the basic stats. Um, you also notice this Qualtrics automatically spit this out below as well. So this isn't very useful to include because of that. Uh, so there's bar charts. I can go to a line chart. Not surprisingly, it's now a line. Go to a pie chart. One of the things to notice with the pie charts is that there's this inner circle. And so you can change the side of, size of this. So right now, this looks more like a donut chart than a pie chart. So if I go over on the right hand side, I can control the size of the inner radius. And so if I drag that down to zero, it's going to look like your more traditional pie chart. Or I can make it um, really narrow and get a more of a ring image going on. Change that to whatever you'd like if you choose to use a pie chart. There's also a breakdown bar. And so with this one, instead of a, everything being ordered in a circle as in a pie chart, now it's all along this bar. And so you can see the size of things, um, you can see percentages. You can also change how things are displayed. So now, right now, it's the percentage, um, then the actual value label or category name, and then that's it. But when I hover over, I also see the end. So I see 189 responses. So this is good when you have an interactive report. Um, you can also change these. So over on the right hand side, now there's large labels, small labels, and bottom labels. The bottom labels are going to impact your legend. So right now it's just category name. I could include a response count on there if I wanted people to be able to see the end very easily. Um, I could also change 
what's at the top. So maybe instead of percent being the large um, op large label, I want that to be category name. As you can see, that's problematic because there's so many categories. So I'm going to go back to percent so I can actually see some things. Uh, you can also go to the bottom. You can change what's actually in this visualization. And so I don't really want this other category because it's not too meaningful meaningful to me right now. So I'm going to click on the box next to that color to hide that. And so this gives the other categories a little bit more room to breathe. Um, you don't see anything additionally, but maybe if I click off of volun or I am not employed and I'm not employed, now I see this a little bit better. Um, this yellow is very intense. I don't like that. Um, so I can actually change the colors that are being used. So here I can click on this palette option, and there are a number of palettes that Qualtrics provides. And so say I want to go down to this one, I still don't really like that, and so I'm going to go up to the one above it. Nothing's too uh, dark, nothing's necessarily too light, too faded, nothing's very bright and jarring. So I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with this one. And so that's some quick options that you can do. Uh, you can also change things with the bar chart. You can change colors here the same way. Uh, you can change, so right now there's a legend that just says count. This isn't really useful since there's only one thing. So you can hide that. You can move it. Move it like over to the right. It's over here. You can put it inside. Um, now it's floating up on top. I, I like that too much, but feel free to experiment. You can also change it from being oriented horizontally to being orient oriented vertically. You can do that by just clicking on this option. Now everything's vertical. Now the inset legend isn't too bothersome to me. Uh, you can also play around with some other things. At the top, you can change what is actually being used. So here is just the number of responses. I could change this to percentage of responses. And so you see a pretty, it's pretty flat here. That's just because these test data are just randomly uh, chosen. And so you're going to get things that are pretty similar across the board. It's not terribly interesting. You can also break things out by other variables. So say if I want to look at gender and I wanted to compare uh, what the responses of different genders are like, I could select that. Um, and then it would break this out um, according to that. I don't really think I have anything too useful right here um, to show you that. Another thing to show you quickly, since some people will have this or open response questions. And so here you can see there are uh, 190 open response uh, responses here. And so I can click through those if I, if I want. You notice it's not really useful. Uh, it's also hard to get a sense of what's going on. So Qualtrics does have word clouds built in. And so over on the right hand side, under the visualization, I can click on word cloud. Give it a moment. And now I have this massive word cloud. I can change this. Uh, so if I don't like the horizontal, I could do horizontal and vertical, which makes it a little bit more difficult to read. And so if you want to make that more difficult for people, you can do that. Um, I tend to like the angled. It's, a little, it's still a little easier to read, but also it makes it a little more interesting. Or you can do a classic horizontal. You can change the color to whatever you'd like. Um, you can also just remove a visualization. Um, so at the bottom of the menu on the right, there is a remove visualization option and completely get rid of something. Uh, you can also add a visualization. So say I didn't want to do that. I can click at the bottom of any question um, box. So this is all for question nine. And so I click add visualization down there. And that's going to enter this. And say I wanted to get that, um, the open response back. I can choose data source at the top and navigate to that other option. And now I have all of that back. And bring my word cloud back and everything's fine. Feel free to play around in this, get creative, um, figure out what works best for you and have fun.